Uh, hi, I'm Mohammed Solomon, or Mo. Um, I was lucky enough to be the Travel Documentary Scholarship winner for World Nomads for 2010. And uh, here I am in the Amazonian jungle of Ecuador. Um, and it's just been an, it's an incredible experience. I don't even know how where to start describing like, how it changed me in so many levels. Um, I can think of like three different ways it's actually changed me. Um, first one on uh, a professional level, in terms of documentary filmmaking. Um, I've been mentored by the great Trent from Australia, uh, quite the character. And um, yeah, just, I, I've, I've used to like, doing little documentaries just by myself and I've never been exposed to actually doing a, a much longer length documentary. And going in, um, experiencing it with Trent, not really knowing how it's going to turn out and having so many like plots and stories and trying to weave them together to come up with one um, kind of flowing, gently flowing uh, story. That was something that I learned really that I've never been exposed to before. How to make an actual professional looking documentary. Um, on the second level, um, I've been exposed to so many different kinds of entrepreneurial like um, tips. Like being with Simon Monk and being with the Bruce Bond tips as well. Like seeing these two men who've, who've made it just with the vision to where it's actually become now. It's, um, it's very encouraging to actually like, do, do something like that with my own life. And I think that's, that's what I'm going to do when I go back again. Uh, I mean, I work hard, really hard, but I've been working hard for someone else's vision. And now I've, after seeing those guys, I think if I just put all this energy to my own vision, it's clear enough that then anything's possible. I mean, it's been really inspiring to see that. And on the third level, Personally, just being surrounded by this, this amazing nature, I just feel so small, being surrounded by all this, but at the same time so big, um, on a very inner, inner scale, you know, it's, and like a, like a kid from Egypt who's suddenly in the middle of the Amazon with, with people from this place who regard, you know, nature as their mother earth, the Pachamama, this is who they are, it's really, really overwhelming, it makes you think a lot this. You know, no matter how different we are, we're still the same. Whether it's me and the people I've met here, we really are the same person. It's just how you see the world. Mo, when you go back to Egypt, what will you do differently as a um, result of this experience? For starters, like I said, on a professional level, I'm definitely going to take um, my life in a much more goal-oriented vision, vision way. You know, I'm, I'm, like, I'm giving myself a certain time period, where in that time period, I'm going to build myself as, as an entrepreneur, if you will, actually. And this is, I think, I, one of the most things that I've got. I've given myself eight months, starting, starting the day I arrive in Cairo. So you guys better contact me in eight months and see what happens then. Thank you so much, World Nomads, for giving me this, this chance, for making me... I know it's been a changing opportunity in my life. I know this is going to happen, so thank you, World Nomads.